And I should have known better. I did know better. Right, Paul? Yeah. Our first gut instinct was that, was that it was Mom. But I got turned around. I let her play me again. Well, I, it wasn't just you, Will. She played all of us. I was an idiot. I should have known better. Never listen. Never, never believe a word she says. Never let her in. She's your mom. She's our mom. And it's hard. I know. Believe me, after all these years, it's still hard for me. I'm like you. I know better than a believer, but I still always want to give her a chance. I'm supposed to take care of you. How could she not take care of us? She's a mom. That's her job. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Thanks. The lab? Yeah. And, uh, thanks. These are the results. Well? They're confirmed. To Mechamine. And Barbara's fingerprints all over the dishes. Well, if they are our dishes. Oh, now there are dishes? Well, if they are, then of course my fingerprints are all over them. And yours, and yours, and anyone else has been in the house. That proves nothing. Okay, what about the drug? Emily, I can't speak about your habits or anything else. You want to see one of my habits? Emily, Emily, you know, I can't attest to where those dishes have been over all these years. They're very old. I can't be held legally responsible for that. It is circumstantial. But I think we can make them stick. You wouldn't dare walk into court with evidence that flimsy. I don't have to. You're remanded, Barbara. I'm what? You have charges pending against you. James Stenbeck's escape, remember? You know what? I don't think she does. She's been having so much fun playing house with you. She started to think she owned the place. But you know what? You were always under arrest. It was just a matter of time before you were back behind bars. I want you to rebook her and cuff her. Please don't do this. It'll just make it worse. You could have killed Emily with that drug for all you knew. Every life you've ever touched, you've damaged. You're not gonna get that chance again. I'm gonna go get your file, and you're gonna lock her up now. If you think you can get past hell again, you will run straight into me, and I swear to God, I will make it my life's work to see that you get what you deserve. But that's what you're worried about, isn't it? That I will get past hell. Not ever again. Oh, please. Hal and I have a connection. I will always be able to get him to listen to me. That's history. That's our history. But then you and Hal have a very different history, don't you? You don't know anything about it. He didn't believe you. When it comes right down to it, he didn't trust you. And that's what you're going to have to live with, isn't it, Emily? Even for our mother. But it, it sounds like everything's okay now. Well, Barbara's locked up again. For real? Yeah, they found traces of the drug that she gave to Emily on her dishes. Hal's got her in a, in a holding cell. You're okay with that, right? Hell yes. Well, Will Oakdale is now a completely safe zone for you again. So, uh, where's it gonna be? You wanna stay with Aunt Kim and Uncle Bob? You wanna stay with me? Uh, actually... We've had an offer on the table for a while. What do you say, Will? Will you give us another chance? You really want to give me another chance? Yes. We'll even throw in that party we talked about. A party? Hey, why not? In this house, right? Will's already talked to Casey about it. And if you don't want to, you can just, you know, chill out for a while, settle in. No, no I'm fine, man. I'm sick of all the problems. Let's Let's just have some fun. All right, then we will. Great. Um, but let's start having fun in about an hour. Right. You got that conference call. Yes. Um, my wife's got a lot of work to do. She's got to 
pay the bills. <laughs> what do you say? We all go to Al's and get a burger. Oh, that sounds great. Great. Well, Me too. We'll pick you one up to go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, guys, I'll see you later. See you in an hour. I want to drop this. No. We need it for tonight. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, did you see anybody when you were coming in? The housekeeper? Sorry, I don't really remember her name. Uh, no, not, not Phyllis. Um, anyone else? Anybody else outside? Nope. The party won't really start for a while. Is Will here? Well, where should I set up? I'm sorry, what? The sound system. I'm the DJ, remember? Oh, right. Uh... Dude! I thought you bailed on me. Where do you want me to set up? Uh, how about over there? Cool. Uh... Dude! Hmm. <laughs> I am so totally in awe of your executive abilities. That's what we're stopping. Uh, honey, um... So... Barbara, she's, um... locked up, right? Yeah, she's probably drinking out of a tin cup as we speak. But the important thing is, is that Will is back where he belongs. And we finally have our life back. Hey, caterer's on his way. <sighs> hmm? Here we go, CDs. Hmm. Cool. Thanks. Did you bring my vinyl? I lugged the box down. I put it in the car. I think you could take it from here. Rosanna, you are a brave woman having a bunch of hormonal teenagers in your home. Well, I, I wanted to do it for Will. I wanted to make things up to him. Yeah, in a lot of ways. I mean, Will would never say this, but this is kind of a celebration of Barbara's first night in jail. Ooh, ooh. Well, you know, it's got to feel good, though, to know what finally happened here, huh? Yes, it is. Well, what if we don't know? What does that mean? Well, what if we thought we thought the incidents had stopped, but, um... What if they haven't? Uh, the evidence against Barbara is pretty damning. Hmm. Has anyone talked to Emily? Yeah, since Barbara has, yeah, has yeah. been Yeah, she talked to Tom today. You know what? They're pretty sure that the case against Barbara's gonna stick. Oh, well, that's good. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Okay. Excuse, Excuse us, Margo. Me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You wanna tell me what's bothering you? You know, um, maybe we should start. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, nah, we've got to kick it off. I don't want to go into it right now. Will's having a good time. I don't want to ruin things for Wow, him. okay. If what if what you're talking about is going to ruin Will's time, we really do need to talk about this. Come on. Wait, uh, Paul. Margo, uh, could you do us a favor? Could you hold down the fort for a few minutes? We're going to step out. If if the caterers show up before we come back, they've got instructions. Yeah, it's no Thanks. problem. Great. Whoa, problem, problem. <laughs> Paul, oh, sweetie, wait, wait, wait. Look, um, maybe I'm, I'm just being silly. You know, I should stay and make sure that the okay, party goes on. Look, at this point, we're pretty much just in the way. All right, we'll step out. We'll have a quick drink. We'll be right back. I really want to know what's on your mind. All right. All of the hauntings, all of the mind games, everything that Barbara did, it's over now. You can relax. Okay. Let's go. We need to talk. Oh, I hope we didn't leave anyone in the lurch. Come on, Rosanna. They're gonna be fine. You. Oh, thank you. I've been really jittery ever since I brought Will home. You wanna tell me what's going on? Oh. Um, I don't know. Doesn't have anything to do with Will living with us, does it? No. Absolutely not. Please don't think that. If uh, I'm having second thoughts about anything, it's about living at Fairwinds. But you were the one who wanted to live at Fairwinds. I know, I know. 
I fought you on it, but I'm beginning to think that you were right. That being there is maybe making it hard for me to let go of Cabot. I, mean, I thought it would bring me closure, but instead it's like he's still there. Only not in a safe way, like a memory, more immediate or threatening. <laughs>